tonight, 44 News investigates the financial situation at the University of Evansville. Over the past year, a number of positions have been cut from the university, as well as some majors and programs. And emails obtained by 44 News, in fact, highlight possible money troubles. We reached out to the top university officials to see if those emails were accurate, and we're told they were, but university officials refused multiple requests for an interview. And 44 News Chief Investigative Reporter Veronica Dequette is digging deeper into this story and joins us now with more. Veronica. But now we have pulled all the rabbits out of our hat. We don't have any more tricks. We cannot hide from the fact that we've been running deficits of two to two point five million dollars for several years. Those are just a few lines from a Friday Ramble email sent to University of Evansville faculty on February eighth. That email, which we received anonymously and the university confirmed, is what sparked our investigation and contains more concerning language from UE's executive vice president for academic affairs and provost Michael Austin. He also says, "quote Over the past several years, the university has managed to find other ways to." Conceal the deficit and ways to use the quote magic of creative accounting, causing $700,000 to magically appear on our balance sheet. The email also reveals a list of some of the first positions eliminated to help UE get out of the red. Since then, several things have happened, which brings us to April 12th when the university announced its rebranding. Given the university's financial troubles, we asked President Petroskevich the obvious question. How much did all this cost, and where did you get the money? For well, the good news is it, it doesn't cost a lot of money, um, and we're going to roll it out over a period of time. So the good news for us is that we were at the end of our athletic apparel contract, but it doesn't cost anything from our operating budget. It comes from philanthropy, and it comes from our negotiated deals we have with our athletic apparel providers. Although the president's response focused a lot on athletics and uniform contracts, the rebranding is for the whole school. Several former and current University of Evansville faculty members have confirmed the rebranding did cost a lot of money, about $750,000. Which is why we asked Petroskevich if the rebranding had anything to do with the two to $2.5 million deficit, and he was visibly caught off guard. Have anything to do with the deficit of the president, the $2.5 million deficit? No, this everything that we do as a university has everything to do with increasing enrollment, right? And so when we're thinking about a wellness and recreation center, when we're thinking about a strategic plan, when we're thinking about branding and identity, it is a way to be able for us to be able to tell the story of the University of Evansville through students. Although he did not answer the question directly, he did point out low undergraduate enrollment is an issue universities like UE are facing across the country. This is one of the initiatives that we started in early July before anything else was happening uh, on campus or across the country. So we were doing this long before we started anything else. But the email clearly states UE has been operating in the red for several years, far before early July when he says they started planning the rebranding. Five days after that announcement, UE special education student Steph O'Neill got some shocking and upsetting news. I got a text message from my internship group saying, hey, not wanting to blindside you or anything, but we're having a meeting about our major getting cut, special education plus our special ed professor is getting her teaching job eliminated as well. She also got this email explaining the university has been engaged in a process of fiscal reduction. But it was just in shock. I was like, what is like big changes happening now, but why is this happening to our major and two other majors and maybe even more majors for all I know. Steph is from Cincinnati and is on a full academic scholarship. But UE was my top, top school and I wanted to get out of state. Which is another reason why Steph says her program elimination is disheartening. I understand of low enrollment that they're cutting the majors, but like it kind of hurts because you're like, I'm here to do special education. I'm here to change the world. I'm, gonna he I'm here to teach the next generation. Steph says she's not the only student asking why. Have students been talking about and questioning why money is being spent? Yes, students are questioning, yes. As more money is being spent, students are wondering what's next. Oh, so new logo change. So positive. Majors getting cut and then people are getting eliminated. Negative. But new change maker, getting new scholarships and new money into high schoolers to come in to UE. Another positive. Is there going to be another negative that's going to come out of that, for all we know? 
positive or negative, the rabbit is out of the hat for UE, and no magic trick could make this problem disappear. But we will continue to dig deeper to get answers. Veronica Duquette, 44 News. And to read those emails, you can visit our website at WEVV.com. For updates, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also download the 44 News app on your smartphone or tablet. Well,